And we're hearing from California's legal community about the announcement of Justice Breyer's retirement. KCRA3's Melanie Wingo joins us now with more on Justice Breyer from a San Francisco lawyer who worked closely with him early in her career. Yes, and just as Stephen Breyer's roots are right here in California, as we've been reporting, he was born and raised in San Francisco. So tonight we spoke with an attorney from San Francisco who got her start as a Supreme Court clerk under Justice Breyer. I have been at my firm for 20 years since clerking for Justice Breyer. Now a partner at her San Francisco law firm, attorney Stacy Layton values her time serving as a clerk for Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer. I attempt to use the skills that I learned in that clerkship in my job every day. As a Stanford Law School grad, she says it was an honor to clerk for Breyer in the early 2000s. He was an incredibly intelligent, committed, you know, super dedicated to listening to the views of the clerks, to engaging with the other justices, and a man who was just full of integrity as both a person and a justice. He has always been somebody who has attempted to build consensus, uh, to build bridges, to attempt to engage with justices who had views who were different from his own. Hearing of Breyer's plans to step away from the high court came with a mix of feelings. My first thought actually was a bit of sadness because I admire Justice Breyer so much and what he's brought to the judiciary. But she's happy to hear he's leaving on his own terms and not surprised to learn another Californian. State Supreme Court Justice Leandra Kruger is on a short list of potential appointees for Justice Breyer's seat. Well, I am sure that Justice Kruger will get a very close look. Saying Breyer likely wants a successor to honor what he stood for as a justice. She has been an extraordinary California Supreme Court justice, and I'm sure Justice Breyer would would be very happy to see her uh, take his seat. Layton says it will be fascinating to see who ends up with the nomination to fill the vacancy left by someone she has a deep sense of admiration for to this day. And I feel a sense of pride of being associated with somebody like him. Now, we did reach out to the media offices for the Supreme Court of California, hoping to get comment on Justice Leandra Kruger being on that short list of potential nominees to fill the vacancy Justice Breyer will leave behind. We didn't hear back by news time, but we do expect to learn much more about her in the coming days. Reporting live in the newsroom, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.